Sally Sally Mabe, welcome to the channel. How are you guys doing? If you're new here, thank you so much for being here. Welcome. If you're an OG, welcome back. I appreciate you guys so much for watching the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share if you can, if you want to. I appreciate you all. So we are continuing the Christmas series because Christmas is near. Okay. We are working today with Born Pretty. They sent me some beautiful products, you guys. So everything will be in the description below. So I am working with the solid gel today, nude color absolutely beautiful you guys i already purchased some but i wanted to try this i am not disappointed okay anyways i really love it it's dirty and i'm showing you the ingredients in case you're skeptical so you can see all the details they also sent me some gel polishes i think it's milky white and also you have one that is thermal you know like that change color depending on the temperature hot or cold hot or cold <laughs> and you have also the other one that is jelly this one is absolutely beautiful so you'll be seeing it in the video like i already showed a little teaser in the beginning you'll be seeing the colors are very very vibrant yet so you know like holidays season so in the term of the you know of Christmas I really love it y'all and they also sent me like the metallic you know for drawing the metallic um gel it's like a little bit goes a long way as you can see <laughs> it is so shiny and like mirror you'll be seeing it all you have to do is dip a little bit on the brush and draw it's so vibrant I really love it but Thank you so much for all my babes on the channel that support, comment, and watch the video. I appreciate you so much. Now let's get to the real work, you guys. So, the first set, because I am doing two sets today, I didn't want the video to be too long like I asked on Instagram. <laughs> Originally it was 29 minutes, but too much, so I had to cut it down a little bit. But what I'm doing on the first set is I'm working directly on my hands. So for that, I had to go in with some dehydrator because my hands were oily. I did like a little work before cleaning my nails and all that. And I forgot I put some cuticle oil. So I had to remove that so the nail can be lasting. And, you know, I had to keep them on for a little bit so I can tell you how it works. And it works perfectly. So what I do is dehydrator. Then you apply primer because you'll be applying the you know solid it's like it's like i think it's like a solid version of poly gel if i can say like that but it, <laughs> i don't know or maybe a solid version of um the extension gels yes extension gel is better so it's like poly gel but it's less sticky than poly gel so anyways you can work it with your fingers or just take some and put in the spatula you'll be seeing I apply it both ways on the video the first way is I work with that um, little solid piece on my nails directly you have time to work with it and mold it around and then take your tip I have to spray my tip because it wasn't fitting I didn't file for it and nothing it was too much work so I had to go ahead and, <laughs> and redo everything I forgot to apply the primer the first time so I was like okay I'm apply the primer now <laughs> to see if it's going to last and with the primer it was better so I applied the Macart primer, you can get the code. Naily nailed it. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can get the code for Macart product. Naily nailed it in the description down below. So what I'm doing is, is scooping the gel, this time with a spatula, and then mold it inside of the nail tip so I can glue it on my finger, then cure it. It works both ways actually. I really really love like the idea of this gel. To give you time to apply because you know i always have my nails crooked <laughs> i don't know if it's my fingers or if it's me i don't know something is wrong but every time i apply my nails on they always come out crooked so this one is actually the first one of the first time where it wasn't too crooked and it was you know it was it wasn't too noticeable if i can say it like that but anyways afterwards it was pretty nice it was applied nicely it wasn't coming off so all i have to do was now to mix up the colors and this gel polish has like some gold leaves inside 
so it's it is very pretty but i needed something a little clear so what i did was to mix the white making white in this kind of wine color if i can say like that then i mix it together so it can give me a little clear bordeaux color bordeaux <laughs> what did i say i don't know how you say burgundy yes i think bordeaux is burgundy so i wanted a clear burgundy so it can blend with the um the solid gel underneath like, that's what you're saying right <laughs> So anyways, that's how it comes like it comes like jelly, which I really love because I'll be doing it ombre for this set. So that's all I'm doing. Just applying the gel, making sure it's applied nicely. It doesn't have to be thick because that side of the nails will be regardless covered with the metallic color. So all I have to do is just apply the gel polish to make sure I have a cute layer on the nails so I can cure it for 60 seconds in the big lamp, then start with the little ombre. So once we were done with the application of the gel polish, it's cured nicely and we are done with that part. So it's safe to go on with the metallic gel and um, yeah, I wanted to just say thank you so much if you're still here on this part of the video. The video is a little long, so <laughs> thank you so much for being here. But anyways, um, yeah, all I'm doing is just a little ombre. I'm using uh, my gel my liners not gel liner but my brush to spread the gel like i was telling you the gel is very very pigmented so all you need is a little bit and you can see it was covering the whole nail like i didn't need that much so i'm just doing the ombre making sure i apply enough on the tip and then i'll be able to spread with the brush a little dry spread the bottom so it can blend in to give me a nice ombre As you can see, I spread it nicely, like I say, with the brush, I make sure I blend it up. I didn't leave it as a block, as you saw on the first part. And what I'm doing right now is using my model one gel liners. I needed a little shimmer, you know, on the on the nail, even though it was still shimmery with the <laughs> metallic, but I needed something to step out that gives me like Christmas, that gives me bling, and that gives me sensuality. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. It was just that I wanted something that pops out, so I had to go ahead and use a little bit of that glitter and you know rub it. Not too much because that one too is pigmented, as you can see. Just a little wipe of the liner on the nail, then use the brush and spread it. That's all that was needed. Then once you finish that part, you make sure you cure it for 60 or 90 seconds, depending on what kind of lamp you have if it's a uv or uv led or lead yeah there's a difference so you go ahead and cure at least for 30 seconds maximum 90 seconds but make sure it's dry and if you need more than 90 seconds please make sure you have a uv gloves on like i do to cover your hands and you know because exposure to uv is not too good but anyways once we were done, I make sure I use the Bone Pretty Super Top Coat because yeah, they have different top coats. They have the regular top coat and the super top coat. This one is stronger, shinier, and it dries faster. Anyways, <laughs> so yes, once I was done with that part, I was so excited. I was like, okay, let me bling out this part. I won't show all the process of the blinging out because you know, 
it was too much bling put on the on the on the nail so all i did was to use my beetle nail glue like i always love the beetle nail glue <laughs> you know i don't go with that the, the rhinestone nail glue and the nail glue itself like always so all i do just apply a thin layer on the nail to make sure it doesn't be messy then start to apply your gold or whichever color you are using rhinestones Today I'm using the gold ones and I wanted to see how they look and they look pretty nice. So I was randomly putting the, you know, the rhinestones. I wasn't going with some specific size or I was just picking them out and just trying to cover to make sure it was, you know, decent. So that's all I did. And I didn't go too complicated with this set because <laughs> like I said, lately my mind hasn't been creative and I am still sick and kind of lazy if I can say it like that so yes bear with me you guys I'll be back full effect I don't know when but every time I'll be having a little energy I'll be recording and I hope I can create something more you know cute so I'll be trying to produce like a gingerbread house nail set for I don't know the end of this week or probably <laughs> the beginning of next week but you'll be seeing it so that's the nails that i'll be coming up with but hopefully it doesn't be after christmas <laughs> because it'll be too late but anyways that's all i did then yes i dried it in the lamp as usual make sure you apply some cuticle oil every time because you need to have your cuticle nourished if you see my hands are always jacked up it's because i bite my nails because when i stress out that's how i do so they can grow long as long as i want Once I start to stress out, I just start to bite them, which is not a good habit. But anyways, that's all I did. Then we will be ready to start the next set, you guys. Part two. So for the second set, I was just going for some press on that I, I will be probably wearing them for these holidays. But I was just doing it just to show you all the colors because I didn't want to swatch them. But yeah, that's the second set I came up with. Making sure I'm using all the product that they sent me so you can see it. And if you like it, trying to purchase it, you know. Anyways, so all I'm doing is just making sure I'm, I'm applying the jelly. This one is a jelly gel. Um you know a jelly a cherry or wine if i can say it like that gel i really love the color all i'm doing is making sure i'm applying it very nicely and i wanted to leave it like that but i was like it doesn't fit the nail i wanted to have so all i did was to make sure i applied the matte top coat once i was done applying the gel polishes to make sure to make sure the canvas is ready for you know the little nail heart Once we were done, once we were done with that part and ready to start with the, you know, little design, I went ahead and used my liner brushes and dip it in the metallic gel. Like I said, a little bit goes a long way. I was trying to create like the girling uh, on the nail, but my hand is not steady, you guys. Like I tell you, I have trimmers. I used to be able to draw lines very perfectly, but now I can't even scratch my head without having a trim. <laughs> like this is ridiculous. But anyways, I tried my best. So please be indulgent. Be indulgent, you guys. But anyways, that's all I did. And making sure I have something decent. Then I start to, you know, create the little girling lines and the girling kind of um light thing is that you know suspends and then to be able to apply the gems but the little mistake i made once i was done with that part is i didn't realize that i had to cure it first so once i start to apply the my top coat at this minute i knew i fucked up excuse my language but <laughs> i forgot to cure it before applying the my top coat i went directly and it smudged everything now i am here trying to figure out how to fix it it was a hard mess you guys a hard one <laughs> but anyways i tried to come up with something and save the day and which i did so that's why i went ahead and start to apply the blinks to make sure you know it's not too noticeable noticeable 
<laughs> to make sure you don't pay attention too much about the smudge and the smears around the nail and yeah i had to go ahead and make sure i you know retrace everything to be a little decent then i made sure i cured it <laughs> for at least 90 seconds then i went ahead and applied some more matte top coat cured it then the blink it was a little you know ugly <laughs> but anyways i tried my best you know <laughs> but yeah that's all i did then make sure i use my beetles rhinestones nail glue as usual then you know just drop little dots everywhere i wanted the blinks to be then glue them and cure them and voila So after all the mistakes I made, <laughs> so I just thought that let me, before I forget, start to apply the matte top coat on all of the nails and cure it and make sure it's ready so I can start my little nail art and without forgetting because my brains be forgetting stuff. Like I kept repeating to myself, you need to cure, you need to cure. And once I stopped thinking and, you know, I started to talk with my daughter on the side, then I came back, everything I was thinking about doing the nails went through the windows but anyways once i was done with that and it was nicely cured right now i love the color it's so sexy you guys but i tried to produce like a christmas tree i wanted it to be a little swirly but the swirl like i said i couldn't get a straight line for the love of jesus <laughs> or the love of christmas like it was messed up so i was like you know what I was just freestyling at this point and try to save the nail because when I started it was messed up in the you know it's like metallic color so trying to erase it at this point would mess up the whole design so I had to go ahead and make sure it was swirly and try to make it a little bit plumpy so you can hide the little imperfections <laughs> on the way but that's all I did to make sure I apply a little you know a little star on top of the tree if i can say it like that and then yes voila the heart was done for this one but make sure make sure you cure it for 60 seconds as usual then voila it's done and we're continuing with the next one this one was like a not a candy cane but i was almost a candy cane but i just went ahead and used my glitter gel liner from matter ones and do this one it wasn't too complicated just created some slanted lines and try to you know make it thick enough to to be visible but not too thick to still see the color on the other side because i really wanted to you know expose the mat underneath which i'm satisfied with actually so i did the same one with this pinky and the um the pointer so at this point this is what it looks like i was pretty satisfied and i had one nail left i didn't want to bling it all out so all i did was to use the metallic gel and make sure i create a snowflake like kind of big that covers the nail a little, a little bit on you know because i really didn't know what to do with this one so i just went ahead and did that make sure you use your dotting pen create some dots connect the dots with the gel liner or your brush liner and then you know Take um, the big side of the dotting pen and dip it in the gel and make sure you dot it back so you can, you know, like create a 3D effect on the snow globe. Very easy. I'm going to let you watch it.
and once we were done i just used my dotting pen once again the small dotting pen dip it in the nail glue or rhinestones nail glue and then you know just on the part that's supposed to be highlighted in 3d depose some rhinestones it doesn't matter the size but i went ahead with some small and medium to make sure you know it can pop out and you know just be blingy because that's what i was going for so that's all i did and cured it again in the big lamp if you don't see the big length on the side it's because it takes too much space so it's on the side on my left and then i just cure it every time so if you see me going off the camera that's what i'm doing curing and coming back so you have to make sure to have a lamp i do all that with the uv lamp you guys so here is the hand result you guys that's the present set i didn't know if i wanted to wear it right now i'll just keep it for the christmas time and yes i'm really satisfied and the nails lasted three days on my hands before i take it off the thumbnail popped off very easily because i didn't put no primer and i mean I did put primer i didn't put any base coat or you know the nail prep but the rest of them i struggled to take them off and it really hurt because i prepped them so good but anyways this is the end result thank you so much bun pretty for the product i love it you guys and i'll be using it again exceptionally the jelly colors really love it but anyways tell me in the comment how you like the result you guys if you like the nails and yeah make sure you subscribe make sure you like make sure you comment and make sure you share if you want to don't forget to follow on tiktok and instagram and yeah i appreciate you guys so much for always being here and yes from the bottom of my heart i appreciate you I love you guys and I see you soon. Bye bye.